What's going on guys, John with the Pro Cut, and I finally got the media mod for my GoPro Hero 8. So if any of you are living in the past like me and still just running the 8 edition of the GoPro Hero, stick around, check out this unboxing and test drive. So first things first, we pull it out of the box. We've got our warranty card and our user's manual. Then you've got your media mod, you've got a GoPro quick mount and one of the thumb screws as well. So let's get this opened up and check it out. All right, so it's got a spring loaded arm and the release is spring loaded. And then you're gonna slide your GoPro into there, remove the original battery door off of the GoPro because that's not gonna go in there now and fold your legs up and then you can go ahead and slide it into place. would be a little easier with two hands. So that just slides into place. So now I've accidentally hit my power button. And then you can go ahead and lock that down. And it should just, yeah, like I said, it's quite a bit more difficult with one hand. Now with your media mod on your GoPro, you've still got your power button on the side now you've added a cold shoe on the other side. You've got a shotgun mic built in. You've got a cold shoe on the top, as well as you still have your button to turn on and off record. And on the back side, you've got your USB-C and a micro HDMI, I believe this one is. And also a 3.5 mil microphone jack. So now you can run an external mic, which makes it a little bit better if you're moto vlogging or something. So let's get out and put this to the test. Now it's definitely worth mentioning that with the media mod, your GoPro is no longer waterproof and you should not submerge it in water. Um, I'd try not to even get any rain on it, but I think that may be okay, but I wouldn't recommend it. 